Hi everyone, welcome back to uh, Two Minute Tuesday. John's Gospel is pretty amazing. Uh, a lot of people say to me, um, where should I start reading the Bible? Uh, if you're not familiar with the Bible, read John's Gospel, it's terrific. What's really amazing uh, to me, first of all, is like in John's Gospel, John, John's Gospel chapter one, it talks about uh, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. And it's, it's an in, incredible, glorious message of who God was and who Jesus is. And then after that, it gets into chapter two. And what, what happens next is quite earth shattering, really, because it's earth shattering in the sense that it's pretty mundane. You know, the rest of the Bible in the gospel, you see Jesus healing lepers, blind Bartimaeus, you see an incredible stories like we talked about the other week, the woman with the issue of blood and uh, people raising the dead. In John's Gospel chapter two, Jesus is just turning water into wine. There's no real miracle like it really in the Bible because it's like so mundane is he's at this wedding and listen to what is listen to what happens. When the wine had gone, Jesus' mother said to him, they have no more wine. Listen to what Jesus says. Dear woman, try calling your mother that. Why do you involve me? Jesus replied. My time has not come. <laughs> Listen to what Mary does. His mother said to the servants, do whatever he tells you. In other words, she's not taking no for an answer. No for an answer. It's like, woman, why do you involve me? My hour has not come. It's not time for him. It, 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 it doesn't feel it's time for him to begin this ministry yet that he's going to unleash upon the world and all these incredible miracles and great teachings. But he said, woman, why do you involve me? And what does Mary say? Mary said, turns around, ignores it, and she says, do whatever he tells you to do. Sometimes you can't take no for an answer. Sometimes you have to push forward, even with your miracle that you want Jesus to perform. If Jesus seems to be passing by, if Jesus seems to be nonchalant, if Jesus doesn't seem to be moving in your direction, you move towards him. That's what Mary did. I need this miracle. Yeah, it seems kind of dull and insignificant, but it was important to, to Mary for some reason. And so Jesus did something. Sometimes you have to push forward with your faith, with your belief, and, and push and push and push until you get what you want. Amen. Keep pushing. Keep going forward. Don't take no for an answer. Keep pleading. Keep asking. Because you never know. Jesus may turn around and turn your water into wine.